AMD's new graphics cards built on RDNA 5 is being positioned as a massive architectural upgrade. It's expected to be AMD's next major graphics card release, the kind of launch that could challenge the high end from NVIDIA, specifically the 80 class. Rumors point that the launch is somewhere around Q2 of 2026. Now let's talk about what makes RDNA 5 special. Early leaks suggest that the flagship model will offer around 50% more compute units compared to the current top tier. On top of that, we're looking at a wider memory bus, up to 384-bit or even 512-bit in some configurations, which means higher VRAM capacity and greater bandwidth. The architecture is rumored to be manufactured on TSMC's N3E process node, boosting efficiency and per watt performance. There's also new technology that AMD brings to the table, and these compute blocks are divided into three. We have the neural arrays, groups of compute units acting as a unified AI engine, radiance cores, they are dedicated ray tracing and path tracing, and then universal compression, a system to dynamically compress data within the GPU, improving bandwidth usage. All of these points towards RDNA 5 not just being an incremental upgrade, but a generational leap. What the lineup might look like, according to the leaks we have, these are some of the plausible configurations. I'm just going to put them up here. You can look through them in your own time. But basically, these look like massive performance increases from what we've seen before. AMD looks like they're going to target 24 to 32 gig RAM on the top tier model. It's going to be absolutely insane i do hope the mid tier stays at 16 gig memory because we've kind of got used to that from them and that's why the 9060 and the 9070 has become so popular they are not stingy with their memory how does this compare to previous architecture well there's several key differences the move from monolithic to a potential chiplet design although this is still only rumored the doubling of the cores per CU in some leaks. So some of them are even 128 cores per CU versus the fewer that we have in RDNA 4, which is a big leap. There's a wider memory bus and higher VRAM. Major boost to real-time ray tracing, thanks to the radian cores and the AI upscaling via the neural arrays. And efficiency improvements because of the new process node. All of this adds to RDNA 5, not just being a refresh, but a meaningful step forward for the AMD GPU roadmap. Why does this matter? Well, we'll see better performance at higher resolutions, stronger ray tracing and AI upscaling capabilities, greater future proofing, greater future proofing, especially as games and apps become more demanding from a market perspective. AMD is signaling that it intends to compete more directly at the high end, but also not lose focus in the mid-tier section where they've thrived. Pricing at this point is rumored to be about $1,000 to $1,500 for the top tier card. Of course, there are caveats. Many of these details are still rumors. Specs aren't confirmed. Pricing and availability are unknown. And we don't know yet how performance will look in real world. Also, New manufacturing nodes and chiplet designs often bring risks, yield issues, launch delays, or higher costs. So while RDNA 5 is very promising, we want to wait for the reviews and the benchmarks to hit us in the face. <laughs> in summary, the RDNA 5 could be a game changer for AMD with a major architect upgrade. New hardware blocks for RT and AI and a lineup spanning entry to flagships. This could be AMD's moment to reclaim the high-end GPU leadership, which they barely had to begin with. But if you find this interesting, drop a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you in the next video.